Hello and welcome to the Western Legends Big Box Assembly, Part 1 of 16. Um, here I am assembling the general store lid, removing all of the pieces needed. I will say if there's any issues with the numbers of where to find them, always go by the, the images themselves. I didn't have any problem with that, but uh, my team is looking into any possible manual errors. All right, as we uh, are going through this too, let's take uh, a couple of minutes to just go over some basic things. Um, wood splintering in this type of wood is very common. So always make sure to kind of clean the um, edges up. You can kind of see a piece sticking in one of my longer sides um, that just needs to be pulled off before um, kind of fastening together. Another thing I recommend absolutely is some wood glue. I think that helps sturdy, and not only sturdy it for the weight of the uh, insert, but also just to give a you know longer longevity with uh, with the insert itself. All right, so to start, we're going to place our triangles um, into these grooves right here. Notice each of the triangles has two grooves at the bottom. Uh, that's exactly where you want to place them. I'm always, you know, aggressive with the um, application, but not too hard where I feel like something might break. You do want to notice here that uh, they do need to be flush with the bottom board, so make sure that all of them don't have any gaps between. That will just kind of help them secure even longer. checking the rule book, making sure everything is good before applying that last final piece. Nice and flush, nice and flush, nice and flush, and so on and so on. All right, now we're gonna take the other piece I also recommend a tiny mallet um, when putting these together. You're gonna notice I'm using the back end of a, a screwdriver. Um, that's just because I didn't have a mallet for mine, but <clears throat> a lot of them sometimes need just a little bit of um, push to get them through. I find using uh, a small crafting mallet is best because it doesn't really harm the wood or cause any splintering or breaks, which is nice. Um, because of the way I'm recording this, I actually am pressing it against my <laughs> stomach and allowing a little bit of pressure, uh, which unfortunately is off camera. All right, so it looks like I'm just going to do a couple more adjustments. I apologize for the shaking, and as I'm noticing very strange filming angles, checking to make sure all of them are correct. All right, now we're gonna speed things up here just a little bit. Gonna take out the two side pieces. I'm struggling a bit, which is why I'm speeding this up. Um, each of them are gonna go on the sides. I had a hard time understanding the placement of these. Uh, I think I was more focused on what I was filming than the actual application. It's fairly straightforward, but as you can see, I uh, really struggled here. But once I finally understood <laughs> the puzzle piece and which way to put it, things became a lot more clear, but uh, yeah, you can see I'm struggling just a bit. After a little bit more pressure on my stomach, I then figured it out and we finished our first piece. Congratulations if you got this far. I'll see you in part two. Yay.